Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you. What, what a session of testimonies. Amen. Hallelujah. God is so good and God has been so faithful uh, that our hearts are rejoicing and, and flourishing with testimonies. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Before we want to go into the word of God, I just want to welcome Samuel. Anybody, everybody knows Samuel? <laughs> everybody knows? Okay. Most of the people knows. Hallelujah. Samuel has always been the pride of the Praise Bible Church, isn't it? Uh, for last, uh, since inception. So uh, he used to come and help uh, play uh, Dolak and Bongo when it, the church used to be sitting at my place, business by his office. He used to come and also play at uh, St. Mark's. Uh, and uh, Basil Bhai was is away for a week, uh, for a few few weeks. So we asked him, and graciously he said, "Yes, it will be very privileged for me to come and worship with you all." Uh, so praise God for Samuel. Uh, he's a very busy businessman, but he still, Hallelujah, praise God, uh, uh, came and, and worshipped with us. So praise God for that. Come meet meet with him. And uh, there are so many testimonies to learn from his life as well. His, his, his brother-in-law is a pastor serving into the North York region with Punjabi community. And we praise God for them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As we go into the word of God, Hallelujah. praise God. But be you tam dalo man khaso parso chuti ke chaud kalam man chai chhatiya the pastor. Fourteen verses. Fourteen hour verses, isn't it? But praise God. Even if we get a little bit late, uh, there is some food for us. Uh, we're gonna celebrate Vikas Bhai and Priya's anniversary. <laughs> Happy anniversary. <Yeah. laughs> Uh, I think we're going to celebrate every birthday and every anniversary of January. So after church service, we'll have some food. So uh, I, can, I can have my liberty to preach 14 verses. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's, 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 let's get our Bible ready. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I believe Thank what, God what God is. The word of God is. The word of God is. What God can do. The word of God can do. But God's word is God's will. And God's will is God's word. Therefore, I have what Bible says I can have. I am what Bible says I am. I can do what Bible says I can do. I present my body as holy and living sacrifice. Lord Jesus Christ has given me the spirit of power, love, and sound mind. I cannot be confused. I cannot be defeated. I have the mind of Christ. Jesus has made me holy and righteous. I am dead to sin, alive to God. There is no condemnation in me because I am forgiven. I have eternal and abundant life in Christ Jesus. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Let's say it again. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Let there be not, not word of I cannot in our dictionary anymore. Because Bible says I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Hallelujah. Now let's give biggest clap offering to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to the series of fasting and prayer. Hallelujah. Praise God. And we're going to spend some time today as well uh, in, into this fasting and prayer. The title, if you want to title this sermon, we can say, uh, hallelujah, spiritual victory through fasting and prayer. Hallelujah. Let everybody say spiritual victory, spiritual victory. through fasting and prayer. Fasting. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> Queen Mary, hallelujah, made a statement about one of the pastor whose name, is, whose name was John Knox. And John Knox was a Scottish pastor, and he, he, he pioneered Presbyterian Church in Scotland. Isn't it? And this is what Queen Mary said about this particular pastor. He says, more than the army of my enemies, I fear the prayers of this man. More than the armies of my enemies, he says, I fear the prayers of this man. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Prayers can move mountains in your life and my life. Prayers can change the course of history and your destiny and my destiny. Prayers has power, hallelujah, to change situations which are not changing for a long period of time. Prayer has a power to break down chains that has been binding for so long. Hallelujah, praise God. And that is what we want to talk about today. Hallelujah, praise God. 
Thank you, Jesus. And one of the most important aspects for the Christian life is not just to pray, but pray with power and authority. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. See, a lot of time we learn to pray. Hallelujah. And there is nothing wrong with it, but we do not learn how to pray with the power and how to learn with the authority. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And that's what we want to do this year. And not just do this year, starting this year, our prayer life, we want to transform so that we pray not just prayers, but pray with power and pray with authority. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Yes, we are praying very diligently in the church and the, the today's service is a testimony of that. Hallelujah. Praise God. But sometimes we lack in our personal prayers. Sometimes we lack in our corporate prayers as well. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me tell you, hallelujah, if you want to move this church from this stage to another stage, hallelujah, pastor alone won't be able to do it. Uh, any one particular minister won't be able to do it. It has to be done on fasting and prayer of all people who are gathered together. Amen. Hallelujah. So corporate prayer, hallelujah, which is not heard of anymore, hallelujah, has powerful impact into the future of the church. Hallelujah. Praise God. We have started, uh, 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 finish our fasting and prayer last Last Tuesday, uh, we had corporate fasting and prayer, and, and, and a lot of people came personally. I think a lot of you joined through the uh, phone or Skype, and I believe that please do come and join personally. If you can, hallelujah, praise God, because that was a powerful time in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. And even when we pray, thank you, Jesus, we are challenged while we pray, because some prayers are answered immediately, and some prayers take forever to have the answer hallelujah praise god and what happened the prayers that we don't receive answer for sometimes we almost forgot about it or we stop praying about it hallelujah second thing that we want to learn today is to pray without ceasing hallelujah continue to pray even if you not receive the answer or even if you not receive the glimpse of an answer let's continue to fast continue to pray hallelujah praise god thank you jesus Hallelujah. Uh, another thing that I just want to say, hallelujah, praise God. Okay. <clears throat> a lot of times we get so busy and, and we almost lose the perspective on prayers. Hallelujah. And I'm not pointing any fingers right now, but I just want to say how we think. Hallelujah. There are a lot of questions that people ask me or we discuss about the mystery of the word of God. And there's nothing wrong in it because we want to understand this word very well. But there are less questions asked about how should we pray. Isn't it? Praise God. Bible says in Luke chapter 11, don't open it. Disciples came and asked to Lord Jesus Christ. I'm just thinking, think about disciples. They are with Lord Jesus Christ day and night. They're sleeping together, eating together, praying together, casting out demons together, moving from one place to another place. They are everywhere. They're, they're together. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the first question disciple ask, Jesus teach us to pray. Hallelujah. Because he didn't say, Jesus teach us how to cast out demons. Jesus did not, they did not say Jesus teach us how to lay hands and pray for the authority. And I'm not saying that is wrong. But the most impact the disciple received from Jesus' ministry, the way Jesus prayed. And there's the first question they say, Jesus teach us to pray. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, Matthew 6 was read uh, by Jackson by Hallelujah. And he already said it. Jesus never said if you pray, he always teaches you when you pray. So prayer is an imperative part of your life and my life. Hallelujah. Praise God. But there are certain hindrances to our prayers. We don't get answer right away. Hallelujah. And then we need to understand what is behind not receiving our answers. And that's what we want to focus right now. Today, hallelujah, a spiritual victory through fasting and through prayer. Hallelujah. Abraham Kepper, uh, he was a journalist, he was a theologian, and he happened to be also a prime minister of Netherlands. Amazing prime minister. Journalist, theologian, and prime minister. And this is what he has to say about spiritual victory. Listen to me very carefully. And he says, if once the curtain will pull back and the spiritual world behind it came to view, it was exposed to our normal spiritual vision, a struggle so intense, so convulsive, sweeping everything within its rage, that the fiercest battle ever fought on the earth would be seen by comparison a mere game. 
not here but up there that is where the real conflict is waged the earthly struggle drones into the backlash are just simple words mein em ke che ke jo pardo khasadvama ave ane je atmik jagat che ane expose karvama ave hallelujah to je atmik yuddho che spiritual warfare je che any same world wars ko ek ramaj jeva lagse isn't it there is so much intense warfare and battle goes on into the spiritual world and and sadly <clears throat> hallelujah we are not being taught about it uh, nobody wants to talk about it because it becomes controversial subjects hallelujah praise god hallelujah but when god brings us to it i believe that god will also lead us through it and teach us through it as well amen hallelujah thank you jesus praise god so spiritual warfare through fasting and prayer even before i go into the <clears throat> book of daniel i wanted to open one verse we just going to look at this verse we're going to study this verse much later Ephesians chapter 6 verse number 12 Ephesians no patra chatto adhyay ane 12mi kalam hallelujah i'm going to read in gujarati he says kem ke apnu yudh rak tatha mas ni same nathi char vastu pachi ke che par koni same che adhipatiyo ni same adhikariyo ni same ankar na satta dhariyo ni same ane aakashi sthano ma dushtata na atmik lashkaro ni same che hallelujah in english hallelujah he says for do, do not wrestle or we do not wage war against the flesh and blood but we rage we we war against principalities against the powers against the rulers of the darkness of this age and against the spiritual host of wickedness where in heavenly places hallelujah praise god we kind of know this verse but we don't understand that verse right uh, we will talk about that verse in a great detail later on but what i want to make a point right here કે આપણે જે પ્રાર્થના કરીએ છે ને પ્રાર્થના ફક્ત પ્રાર્થના થી બેઠ છે સ્પિરિચ્યુઅલ વોરફેર હાલેલુયા એન્ડ ધેર ઇઝ અ વોર ગોઈંગ ઓન રાઈટ નાઉ હાલેલુયા વિચ બિટવીન યુ એન્ડ ધ સ્પિરિચ્યુઅલ વર્લ્ડ ઓફ ડાર્કનેસ હાલેલુયા અને પ્રભુનું વચન કે કે ચાર વ્યક્તિઓની સામે ચાર કેટેગરી સામે તમે ન હું યુદ્ધ લડી રહ્યા છે ઇઝ રિલી ગુજરાતી મેમ લખ્યું છે સૌથી પહેલું હાલેલુયા કોની સામે પ્રિન્સિપાલિટીસ ની સામે અધિકારીઓની સામે તમે યુદ્ધ લડી રહ્યા છો તમાર બોસ ની સામે નહીં પ્રાઇમ મિનિસ્ટર ને પ્રેસિડેન્ટ ની સામે નહીં હાલેલુયા સેકન્ડ કોની સામે લડી રહ્યા છો પાવર્સ ની સામે અધિપતિઓ ની સામે તમે યુદ્ધ લડી રહ્યા છો થર્ડ હાલેલુયા તમે રૂલર્સ ઓફ ડાર્કનેસ ની સામે યુદ્ધ લડી રહ્યા છો હાલેલુયા ગુજરાતી માં લખ્યું છે અંકા રૂપી જગત ના સત્તાધારીઓ ની સામે તમે યુદ્ધ લડી રહ્યા છો અને ફોર્થ ગ્રુપ ઓફ કેટેગરી ધ સ્પિરિચ્યુઅલ હોસ્ટ ઓફ વિકેડનેસ હાલેલુયા દુષ્ટતા ના કેવા લશ્કરો આત્મિક લશ્કરો છે કોઈ એક વ્યક્તિ નથી there is a wo- there is a army of wickedness and those who are who you are fighting and where are you fighting kya tum yudh ladi raha ho heavenly places ma swargiya sthano ma hallelujah your battle is not here your battle is not physical battle your battle is not within physical people but your battle is against the spiritual world and that's what we want to talk about today Hallelujah praise God we will talk about this verse when we get some more time in a great length hallelujah praise God but this verse is to kick start this sermon hallelujah that you hallelujah praise God there is a warfare hallelujah and lot of prayers has to be prayed and won victory into the spiritual world before we receive them into the physical world amen hallelujah everybody say praise God thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you lord <clears throat> Praise God. Let's open with me Daniel chapter 10. Daniel Prabodhan Pustak 10th adhyay. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. It's been read in English and Gujarati. Thank you. So I just want to quickly go through it. Hallelujah because I have a lot of grounds to cover. But Bible says in the first year of Cyrus king of Persia, a message was revealed to Daniel. Hallelujah. Praise God. And whose name was called Belshazzar. The message was true, but the appointed time was long and he understood the message. and had the understanding of vision hallelujah praise god everybody say third year third. hallelujah bible is very accurate isn't it uh, it is accurate not just theologically but it is accurate historically as well hallelujah not in the first year of cyrus not in the second year of cyrus but exactly when cyrus was ruling and third year of cyrus this is what happened to daniel hallelujah praise god thank you jesus thank you lord hallelujah and then, <clears throat> it talks about <laughs> it talks about what happened a message was given to daniel hallelujah praise god thank you so this is this is the ministry of prophets isn't it this is the ministry of the prophet a message from the heavenlies 
was given to the Daniel the prophet. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you. That was not only for that time, but for time to come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If you, if you see, <clears throat> if you see, hallelujah, chapter 9, chapter 9, verse number 1, quickly. Okay, let's just quickly open that. Hallelujah, praise God. Sen Shahat no re Raja thoyo. Pehla verse, first year. And then naam lakhom avyo su naam che? Darya Vesh. Isn't it? It's the same king in chapter 9. It's the same king in chapter 10. It's not two different kings. It's two different titles been given. First year ma avu thayu. Pan trija verse ma Daniel ne vision appa ma avyo. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. And my Bible says, and the message was true. Gujarati ma su lakhi ja? Ane su vatu ya? Pehli kalam ni adar? Te su vatu? Hallelujah. Everybody say message was true. You know why the message was true? Hallelujah. Because it was given by God himself. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and, uh, and then verse number two says, In those days, hallelujah, I, Daniel, was mourning for three full weeks. Hallelujah. I ate no pleasant food, no meat or wine came into my mouth. Nor did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Hallelujah. Praise God. I just want to give you five quick points. Hallelujah. What prayer is and what fasting and prayer is. Hallelujah. Praise God. Daniel not only just was on a book hartal, but Daniel was fasting and praying and seeking God for three full weeks. Hallelujah. Daniel was a busy man. Isn't it? Hallelujah. Bible M Keshe, Keneb Darek Rajana Kingdom Mabo, highest authority of Pamaviati. When Daniel was brought out from the lion's den, he was given a very high and prominent position, hallelujah, into the kingdom of Persia. Hallelujah. So Daniel was a very busy guy, hallelujah. Not only that, Jarapa Luke. Lukti Swartana Bija Dhyama Jo Yeshe, Keje, J. Purvati Magio Aveche. Janapa English ma, wise man Kayeshe. Daniel was the wise man. Isn't it? Daniel was the beginning of the group of the wise men from the east. Hallelujah. And then Pashi gave the wise men there. Emma, some of the wise men came to see Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. So, you know, what is Daniel doing? Daniel is fasting and praying and seeking God for three full weeks. Hallelujah. Point number one prayer is seeking God. Prayer is seeking God. Hallelujah. I'm not saying prayer is waiting for the answer. I'm not saying prayer is seeking blessing, but prayer is seeking God. And that's what exactly Daniel is doing right now. Hallelujah. Praise God. If we want to write one thing and one line about Daniel, Daniel, I can say that very clearly. Daniel was a man of prayer. Daniel was a man of? Prayer. Hallelujah. And Daniel is a short, a short book with 12 chapters only. But in every other chapter, you will find, you will see Daniel praying on his knees. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, chapter number two. Hallelujah. When Nebuchadnezzar gave him a dream and to interpret that dream, Daniel went for prayers. Not only Daniel went for prayer, he asked those three friends to pray for him as well while he interprets that vision. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, chapter number six, when Daniel was cast out in the lion's den, why was he cast out? Because he was praying to God three times a day. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you see chapter number 8, hallelujah, there is a vision there. And in that vision, we find Daniel doing nothing else, but he is praying. Hallelujah. Chapter number 9, if you see it, hallelujah, praise God. Daniel is also praying a prayer of intercession for his own people. Thank you. Daniel is a man of prayer. Isn't it? When we think first thing, Daniel, so he said lion's den. Isn't it? Hallelujah. Praise God. I just want to add another thought to it. When you think of Daniel, think of him as a man of prayer. prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. See, sometimes God changes our perspective. Hallelujah. Praise God. A lot of times we say, Revelation is about the things what's going to happen. But let me tell you, Revelation is a book of worship. Hallelujah. If you want to know what true worship is, read the book of Revelation. Hallelujah. First of all, chapter teaches us how to worship the Lord or how he is worshipped in heavenly places. Hallelujah. So Daniel... Is a man of prayer. Hallelujah. Praise God. And Daniel knew that we serve a God who listens to prayer of his beloved children. Daniel might have no experience. Nothing. He has seen that God has been faithful. Even though he's in captivity, he's in a 
very prominent position in a foreign kingdom. Even though he was cast out by trickery into the lion's den, Bible says God sent an angel of the Lord to shut out the mouth of the lion. Not a angel of the Lord, but the angel of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know what we are talking about. Isn't it? Hallelujah. Praise God. It was pre-incarnate. Lord Jesus Christ was sent to shut the mouth of the lion. Hallelujah. And Daniel exactly know, hallelujah, how to pray and what prayers do. I want to understand what is the time that he's praying. Because Bible writes down very specific thing here. I want to understand what is the time. So open with me book of Ezra. Hallelujah. I'm very excited. Thank you, Jesus. Let's open Ezra chapter 1. Jenemalek, quickly write, read first two, three, four verses. Starting from verse number one. Okay, so stop, stop right there. Kona to Raja, Iran no Raja kayo to? Koresh. Same Raja, the chapter does not the Same king Ezra is talking about. But this is first year of Koresh's kingdom or Darya versus kingdom. Go ahead, Johnson. Amen. Let's stop right there. Thank you. So this is the same King Cyrus. In his first year, he's God talked to him. He's a foreign king in a foreign nation. And God stirred the heart of the king and said, there is a temple that has to be rebuilt. There is a wall that has to be repaired. And that is why this foreign king led people of Israelite go from the captivity to repair the temple and repair the wall. Right? We can be, like, we just don't have to be Daniel. We can be Ezra and Nehemiah as well at the same time. Isn't it? Because that's exactly what happened. So now, some of the people left captivity and went there. Bible says not a great number of people went. They were okay where they were. Even though they were free to go. If they are involved in the building of the temple and building of the city wall, they are free to go. But Bible M says, People were okay and happy in Persian kingdom rather than go to the nation of Israel and repair the temple and build the city wall. Isn't it? And, and it baffles my mind. Hallelujah. But a lot of times I do the same thing and you do the same thing as well. Hallelujah. We are okay, comfortable where we are rather than we want to be spent or, or be used for God where we are out of our comfort zone. Isn't it? For them, Persia was a comfort zone now. Pacha Jawan was a difficult paristhiti. But only small portion left. We don't know why Daniel did not go. But I think Daniel had a plan and purpose where he was. And God was talking to him through his dreams and visions. And Daniel is second book after book of Revelation. Which clearly dictates what the end times going to be like. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. So this is the time. This is the time. I want you to understand that. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. What's number two? M says, What time it was? Hallelujah. Praise God. And any pella make this divas upas Be with me, okay? We're gonna do a little bit uh, old testament to understand what this time is because this is very important for to us to understand when Daniel is fasting and praying. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Are we there? Are we there? Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In book of Exodus, no need to open it. Hallelujah. Praise God. I think in Exodus chapter 16, Lord said to Israelite, that on the first month of the 10th day, you should take a lamb for your family. First day of the Fourth, sorry, yes, yes. Fourteenth day of the first month, you should tenth. Sorry, okay. Praise God. Uh, first month, tenth day. Be with me. Let me go by the tenth day. Okay. Uh, you should take a lamb for your family. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, uh, the lamb should be without spot and without blemish. The lamb should be one year old. There is a specific guidance given to them. Hallelujah. And you should keep into your house for 10 days. Hallelujah. Praise God. And on the 14 days, hallelujah, you should sacrifice it. And that is the feast of Passover. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
and as soon as the feast of passover completes hallelujah praise god after that seven days of feast of unleavened bread would start jene apne su kahiye che be khamir rotli nu parv are we there praise god hallelujah we need to study all the seven feasts again hallelujah praise god so pehla maas ma pascha parv aayu ane be khamir por rotli nu parv aayu daniel is fasting and praying during that time Hallelujah praise God Daniel must be thinking you know what hallelujah in miraculous ways God delivered Israelites hallelujah from the angel of death when they when they when they ate passover and when they applied the blood of the lamb hallelujah why Daniel is praying Daniel is praying for none other than his own nation of Israel ye akha desh mate madhyasthi kari rahyo che akha desh na future mate madhyasthi kari rahyo che Hallelujah praise God so Daniel is fasting and praying for that time hallelujah praise God and while he is praying and praying the word of God came to him hallelujah and the revelation of the future time God gave him hallelujah into this Daniel chapter 10 hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you Lord hallelujah and this is so amazing first thing i says prayer is hallelujah thank you Jesus is seeking God thank you Jesus Chapter number ten, verse number four. Thank you, Jesus. Are we there? Now, on the twenty-fourth day of the first month, I was by the river Tigris, and I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man, Hallelujah, clothed in linen, whose waist was girded with the gold of opaz, whose belly body was like a beryl, his face was the appearance of the lightning, his eyes like torches of fire, his arms and feet like burnished bronze in color, and the sound of his words was like multitude. Hello. be with me okay just let's just transport ourselves hallelujah kept the daniel by the river tigris nadi na kinara apne ani jode jubha chhe isn't it and when daniel is standing by the river tigris bible says he is lifted up his eyes and he saw a man hallelujah bible does not say he was an angel it says he saw a man and then the description of this particular man is given there hallelujah and if you see the description of the man hallelujah par su kahyu chhe ne white shan na vastra pehreya chhe Hallelujah. If you see Leviticus chapter twenty-three, shanna vastra a pramukh yajak ono poshakche. It is a garment of high priest. Hallelujah. They are the one who wears hallelujah white linen garments. Hallelujah. Praise God. And that's why when we reach heaven, if you see in the book of Revelation, in the heaven the saints are wearing white linen garment. Hallelujah. You and I will become the high priest in the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Not only an linen na vastra pehra che, but there is a golden sash around his waist. So she ni kamani baju ma? Sona no kamar band che. Kya sona che? Sona no gilet karalu che? Chokha sona. Chokha sona no. No gilet. Isn't it? Chokha sona. This represents the kingship of this person. Hallelujah. Not only is a high priest, but he is also a king. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Bible says, Hallelujah. His body was like topaz or beryl. Hallelujah. His eyes were like flaming torch. The nani torch mara she bhi no di, isn't it? Because even some of my dura selni torch no di aloko baasa. For them, they were bashal or they were light, big fire. Hallelujah. That will see in the darkness. So his eyes were like full of fire. Hallelujah. Praise God. His feet and his hands were like burnished bronze. Hallelujah. I know. Watch ke wo to. ઘણા લોકોના કલકલાટ જેવો હતો હાલેલુયા સી ડેનિયલ હર્ડ ઘણા લોકોના કલકલાટ જોન હર્ડ ઘણા પાણીનો અવાજ ઇઝન્ટ ઇટ ધીસ ડિસ્ક્રિપ્શન ઇઝ મેચિસ વર્લ્ડ ટુ વર્લ્ડ ટુ ધ બુક ઓફ રેવેલેશન ડિસ્ક્રિપ્શન ઓફ લોર્ડ જીસસ ક્રાઇસ્ટ હાલેલુયા પ્રેઝ ગોડ ફર્સ્ટ થિંગ આઈ સેડ પ્રેયર ઇઝ સીકિંગ ગોડ સેકન્ડ પોઈન્ટ આઈ વોન્ટ ટુ મેક પ્રેયર ઇઝ સીઇંગ ગોડ પ્રેયર ઇઝ સીઇંગ ગોડ હાલેલુયા બી વિથ મી હાલેલુયા થેન્ક યુ જીસસ Daniel is praying hallelujah god could have sent angel and he will send angel but the first person who comes in the presence of god is none other than son of god himself hallelujah thank you when daniel prays hallelujah prabhu no putra dev putra jene apne son of man pan kahe che nava karan ni andar e tya ene upo rahe che hallelujah praise god thank you jesus lot of people believe that this is an angel i kind of believe that this is christophany this is pre incarnate lord jesus christ himself Hallelujah praise God hallelujah <clears throat> and I Daniel also saw the vision verse number 7 for the man who were with me did not see it imagine just imagine everybody's there Daniel has dekhayo nobody could see it hallelujah it tells us a great deal of thing about who Daniel was 
Hallelujah. I know our God is not a partial God. Hallelujah. Praise God. But he talks about the purity of the heart that Daniel had. How conscious is, how clear his conscience was. How earnestly he was seeking God. That when the vision was given there, only he could see it. Nobody else. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And the people who were with me did not see him. But what happened? But a great terror fell upon them. And... No, uh, and they fled and hid themselves. Just imagine, they didn't even see this man. They didn't even see God himself. But Bible says, great terror fell upon them. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And Daniel says, and I was left alone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I, I, I saw the great vision and no strength left in me. Hallelujah. Praise God. I believe this is Christophany. This is Lord Jesus Christ in pre-incarnate form in this part of the vision. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. But I want to learn. I want you to learn something as I learn something out of this part. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> And we can compare this individual with the revelation individual and the description exactly matches, exactly fits. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now be with me. Be with me. Hallelujah. Bible says when he saw God, he says there was no strength left in me. The people who did not even see God, but there was vision, there was appearance, there was presence of God, there was glory of God. Bible says a great terror fell on them. And they fled and they hid themselves. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. When I read this, I learned that, hallelujah, praise God. We talk about presence of God. We talk about the glory of God. We talk about the Shekinah presence of God. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. But here is the perfect time for us to learn how to approach the presence of God. How to, how to behave in the presence of God. How to react in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. See, there is only one way you can react in the presence of God. That is through the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Which is the reverence. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Because the presence of the Lord, Bible, I am saying, Hallelujah. Just like that. Hallelujah. Just because the shout of his voice. Isn't it? Hallelujah. Praise God. Bible M. When he speaks, the foundations of heaven shakes. The foundation of heaven. Isn't it? If you remember what Dirty Come felt like many years ago. Isn't it? I tell you that is nothing compared to what happens when God speaks in heaven. The foundation of the heaven shakes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. That is the presence of God. Hallelujah. And I just want to encourage you and me. We talk a lot about the presence of God, but we will not experience the presence of God. We will not enjoy the presence of God unless there is a reverence into your heart and my heart, unless there is a fear of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Daniel saw it. Nobody else saw it. I don't want to be in the second category. I want to be the first category. If God reveals himself, I want to be there to see it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Reverence is not just being quiet in His presence. And that's how our Magad Ma Ghusi goes. Akhi Prithvi Yehoni Agar. Prithvi na ki duja. Santo na shant revan mati ki du. Isn't it? The powers of darkness remain quiet because there is God there. Hallelujah. Nobody is authority to speak anything because it is God who is standing there. Hallelujah. Santo su kare, prathna kare and praise kare jai. Amen. That is, that is not written for you and me. So being quiet is not reverence. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Reverence means nothing else matters when we are in his presence. Hallelujah. Reverence means full attention of my body, my soul, and my spirit to his very presence. Reverence means fully attending ourselves to his presence. Reverence means not casually walking in or make things happen but to surrender ourselves into his presence. Hallelujah. Thank you. Reverend does not mean that you can walk away from his presence and casually enters whenever we find it convenient. Reverence means 
we are always in awe and wonder of his presence. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. After prayer, how the way we pray, that can display our reverence. The way we worship, that can display our pressure. The way we share the word and talk to people, that can display our reverence. So that is why when the prayer is done, worship is done, don't just walk out of it. Isn't it? Hallelujah. If you see, you know, when God, when God talks, after you're done praying, it is time for God to. But we just walk around. Amen. No, we go God like that. That is the most precious time to sit in the presence of God because now God is going to talk. Isn't it? When we worship, hallelujah, hallelujah, we just don't want to walk out of the worship, hallelujah, but just dwell there, spend a moment or two together because now God is going to talk, God is going to speak, God is going to whisper, God is going to give you something in your spirit right now. Hallelujah. And that is the reverence and that is the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Reverence is displayed the way we worship, the way we pray, the way we read, and the way we hear our word. Hallelujah. This account, author link Duncan M. Keen Bible. Hallelujah. The intimacy with God or the encounter with God always leaves his mark. Always leaves his mark. And you can see the mark. Daniel says, I am in terror. There was no strength left in me. Because there is something amazing right now here. Hallelujah. Praise God. See, when you and I pray, Prabhu, we have presence promise. God says, this is my presence. And I promise you that presence. Amen. How reverently, you want to approach presence. Your presence value. Isn't it? Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. One lesson, important lesson that we have to learn into our life. If God is not revered amongst us, His presence will not be present amongst us. Hallelujah. Praise God. So highest reverence, highest honor is given to Him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So the description is given, and I believe that is the description of God, Jesus Christ Himself. And verse number 10. Hallelujah. Sudha, verse number 7. Yandar, Sudha. Sorry. Uh, uh, a vigor was turned, felt in me. Verse number 9. And, and I heard the sound of His word. While I heard the sound of His word, I was in deep sleep on my face. With my face on the ground. Daniel is knocked out. He's completely knocked out right now. Hallelujah. We don't know how long he was knocked out for. Isn't it? If we see John no description same when he saw Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I was like dead man. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And we don't know how long, what duration it took place. And then something amazing happened. Hallelujah. Verse number 10. Suddenly a hand Touch me. Everybody say hand. Yes. See, Daniel is not saying it is the same person. Daniel is saying there is something else now or somebody else is there now. Isn't it? And that's why I want to describe these two different individuals. Daniel says, and a hand touched me. He could have very well said that. The son of man that I saw who wake me up. He didn't do that. But there was another individual whose hand touched me, touched him, hallelujah, and which made me tremble on my knees and the palm of my hands. And he said to me, O oh, Daniel, man, greatly beloved. Gujarati also look here. Hallelujah. That is Daniel's testimony in heaven. Hallelujah. This messenger is standing beside Daniel and said, Daniel, you know what? When God mentions you in heaven, you know what he says? He says, my beloved Daniel. That is how you are known in the heavenly places, Daniel. Hallelujah. Not just the way you have been loved, but by Gujarati, my translate karama vishe, ki keo manas? Greatly beloved. Hallelujah. Praise God. What made Daniel be loved so much by God? Hallelujah. I don't think God said that to anybody else. Yes, Apostle John, isn't it? The disciple whom God loved much. Isn't it? Hallelujah. But what a testimony of this man. Hallelujah. Praise God. And this is what I'm thinking. Hallelujah. 2019, Lord, I want to have that testimony. I want each one of the, us to have the testimony. Hallelujah. Praise God. That not just your co-workers and your colleagues and your family say that. If they say that, that's a good thing. Because Bible says good name is a gift from God. Isn't it? Hallelujah. Praise God. Good name is a gift from God. Hallelujah. And there's nothing wrong about it. Hallelujah. But when a heavenly visitor comes and says, Daniel, God says you are beloved. Hallelujah. And not just once. In that chapter, twice it is mentioned, verse number 11, verse number 19, both times, this messenger says to Daniel, you are beloved of God. 
are greatly loved from God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Verse number 12. Then he said to me, Hallelujah, praise God. Do not fear, Daniel, for the first day you heard your, that you set your heart to understand and humble before your God, your words were heard. Hallelujah. And I have come because of your prayer. Prayer is first. What is the first point I gave it to you? Seeking God. Second point is prayer is seeing God. Third thing is, hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah. Prayer is exercising our faith, hallelujah, praise God. Prayer is an opportunity to exercise your faith and my faith, hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. And this verse number 12 is fascinating at so many levels. We can just talk about this verse number 12, hallelujah. And this messenger comes to him and says, do not fear, Daniel, from the first day. Let everybody say first day. The moment you open your mouth in prayer, your prayers were heard. Heard right away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. And, and what I mean when I say that prayer is exercising our faith. Hallelujah. Pray, Lord. Kadaj, maybe, Taishake, that are not part of the dictionary of Daniel. And they should be part of the dictionary of our, ourselves as well. But as we memorize the verse week before last, 1 John chapter 5, verse number 14, that we are confident Whenever we ask according to his will, he will give it to us. Hallelujah. Praise God. So when you pray, pray like that. Be confident. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. How to know the will of God? This is the will of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you know the word of God, you know the will of God, what is in your life. Bible says the will of God is your sanctification. Hallelujah. Will of God is isn't it? Hallelujah. Coming back to this thing, hallelujah. A prayer is exercising our faith before God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you read that verse number 12, thank you, Jesus. It does not say that, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Does it say that? No. It doesn't say that. What does it say? Okay, okay well, read, read, the, read the sentence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He says, the day you humbled yourself before God, your requests were made heard in heaven. Hallelujah. Three points I gave it to you. Fourth number, point number four. Prayer is humbling ourselves before God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. If none of these things are there, answer ni ji vaat madhi kariya. Isn't it? We are not waiting for that. We are not even talking about the answer yet. But prayer is seeking God. Prayer is seeing God. Prayer is exercising our faith. And fourth thing, what I said, hallelujah, right now is, Prayer is humbling ourselves before God. Why God is there to answer his prayer? Why his prayer was answered first day? Because Daniel potanu man yahwani agar din karvama lagbari. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse number 14. No need to open it. People should say it without opening it. What is it? Some, something like that. Praise God. This is our memory verse for last week. So next time, Situ is done her turn for the year. So next time I'm going to pick somebody else. Hallelujah. Bible says, when my people who are called by my name, first thing will humble themselves. First thing what they will have to do is to humble themselves and turn away from their sins. Hallelujah. Then Bible says, and then seek my face. Three things. Then he says, I will hear their prayers. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I will heal their land. Thank you, Jesus. First thing in your life and my life, prayer is humbling before God. And that's exactly what David is doing right now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And this D. Duke, he says amazing, amazing thing. Hallelujah. He says, almost everyone believes that prayer is important. But there is a difference between believing that prayer is important and prayer is essential. Everybody believes prayer is important. But he says, when you look at the life of Daniel, Daniel did not believe that prayer is important. He believed the prayer is essential. 
Alleluia. Without prayer, nothing's gonna move into his life. And I think that is how we need to treat our prayers as well. Ke fakta important chet lu nai, pane essential chet. You know when you say essential, what does it mean? Air is essential for you and me to breathe. 21% oxygen has to be there in the air. If it goes below 19%, we will also suffer from hypothermia or we will also, we will gasp for air because the oxygen level has went down because it is essential to your and my uh, breathing system. The food is necessary for our bodies after some time. Water is essential for our body. So prayer is not just important. Prayer is essential for Christian life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So verse number one, ah, thank you, Jesus, praise God. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Verse number 12, we're going to spend some time. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah. I have come because of your words. Isn't it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Verse number 13, hallelujah. Gujarati ma koi maacho. Hallelujah, praise God. We know that first vision is of Lord Jesus Christ, but the second person who is touching Daniel is not Lord Jesus Christ, but he is a messenger from God. You know, messenger, angel, anglios, it means, angel means messenger. He conveys the message from heaven to the earth and earth to the heaven. That is what his job is. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you. He says, I was coming with prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Verse number 12, I'm catching okay, the first day your prayer was heard hallelujah praise god there are a lot of prayers heard in the first day but we have not got the answer yet hallelujah thank you jesus thank you lord <clears throat> and the reason is hallelujah because the prince of kingdom of persia withstood me for 21 days hallelujah praise god thank you jesus now we believe this angel this is an angel because daniel already has two visions before this and in that vision he identifies this angel is gabriel First vision, identify second vision, this was Gabriel. So we believe this is also Gabriel one more time in, in, in Daniel's life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Now Daniel is saying, <coughs> the angel is saying that I was captured by the king or the prince of Persia. Thank you. Be with me. Be with me. Thank you, Jesus. I want to bring you to the Genesis. No need to open it. You all know that Genesis chapter 28 account. Hallelujah. When Jacob saw a ladder. Jacob is to City per con chardu utar do tu? Do to charta ona utar da da. We understand that ladder is Lord Jesus Christ because Jesus himself said that, right? To Nicodemus uh, in the New Testament that I, I am that ladder. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. But we understand that there are angels ascending and descending from heaven and the earth. Why are angels ascending and descending? Because that is angels' roles to execute what heaven has to say into the believer's life and convey the message of the earth into the, into, into the heavenly courts. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Bible also says that. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. That angels are Hebrews chapter 1 verse number 14. So, we know that the seva karnar atma. English man saying angels are ministering spirits. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. You had an accident last week. What happened? How did you get protected? My Bible says in Psalm 91. Hallelujah. Kiti tena to ne? Rakhi ne taro pag? Afrai. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It's not our superior driving skills, but there is a heavenly angelic forces around you and me that dwarfs the plans of the enemy and succeeds the plan of God into your life and my life. Hallelujah. Praise God. You're going through certain times and all of a sudden you receive supernatural spiritual strength to speak and proclaim things that you've never done before. Where did that strength come from? Hallelujah. Bible says angels are ministering spirits and they also impart a spiritual strength in the time of need. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. There is an account. Hallelujah. And I just want to quickly say this illustration. This is a real life account. Uh, there is a Simpson Memorial Church in, in, in Jamalpur Rice area. Hallelujah. Praise God. And we know Amdal is, pre, uh, is famous for communal riots. And there is to be communal riots into the Amdal city area. And, and <clears throat> out of that communal riot, some, some forces decided 
to attack this particular church. Hallelujah. If you know that area, that area is surrounded by major Muslim community right now. Hallelujah. Praise God. But this is their testimony. They came in the night to attack this particular place of worship. He said, but they could not attack it. And they went away. And next day they were talking to someone. He says, when we came to attack these particular places, there were two brightly dressed people were guarding this whole church. Who were there? They were angels ministering to that church, attending to the church, protecting that church for the glory of Most High God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. If God can protect the place of worship, wouldn't God send angels to protect you and me? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I talked about receiving strength. Bible says, Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. When Jesus fasted and prayed, when the devil left him, Bible says, When Jesus was praying in the garden of Gethsemane, we missed that verse so many times. And Yahuana Dut, then a bird up to the car. Hallelujah. Carry Yahuana Dut a bird up you? Jere Prabhu Sri Sukhata. Hallelujah. That he was praying to God and the angel of the Lord came and strengthened him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. When people are praying into this Mary's house for the deliverance of this particular apostle Peter, Hallelujah. Bible says angel shows up in himself. Hallelujah. Deliverance Peter out of it. Hallelujah. The angels are sent to provide you protection. Angels are sent to provide you strength. Angels are sent to provide you deliverance. Hallelujah. Into your life and my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I have a couple of things to share. Important things to share before I close. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bible M K K Persian or Ajay Mane. Pakhlizo. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 14 talks about the fall of Lucifer. No need to get there. But Ezekiel 38 also talks about the same thing. Fall of Lucifer. Let's open two verses from the book of Ezekiel chapter 28. I can take 15 minutes extra. I guarantee you'll get some food. <laughs> Spiritual food, I mean. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Are we there? Ezekiel 28. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody start reading from verse number 12 loudly. Who's here finds it? Okay, be, be well, right there. So Ezekiel was given a command. A yes, son of man. Parajyo luck, good English man, lamentation luck. Hallelujah. To whom? To the? The prince of Tyre or the king of Tyre. Okay, please go ahead, Rashmi Bhai. Hallelujah. You're, you're beautiful, you're majestic, your wisdom, your your seal of perfection. Okay, okay, okay. King of Tyre, kya hato? Devni Edan Wadi Mahato. Go ahead. Let's stop right there, Rashmi Bhai. So God is saying, write to this prince of Tyre. And in a description upon okay, how majestic you are, how beautiful you are. Number one clue, you were in the Garden of Eden. Isn't it? But this guy was in Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. Praise God. Not only he says that he was an anointed Sharub. Hallelujah. Verse number 15. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know who is he talking about right now? He's talking about none other than enemy or devil himself. Isn't it? Adamadi, Avadi, Ane, Sarpne, Bamauna, Enemy Hallelujah. Praise God. But Prabhu Vajan Turno Raja Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, in the time of Ezekiel, Ithoblas second Turno Raja. Why, why enemies mention as Turno Raja? Hallelujah. And this is what I want to bring it to you. Hallelujah. Praise God. There are territorial demonic forces in the world. Let me say it again. 
there are territorial demonic forces into the world the same way angel god has his angelic forces the demon has his demonic forces hallelujah and those demonic forces are our different kingdom our different cities our different uh, uh, different authority to people hallelujah and they exercise devil's authority into their life ethobas raja tu no raja to pan eni upar bijo ek raja to spiritual kingdom ni andar ane raja kon hato lucifer pote hallelujah praise god abide Hallelujah. Thank you. So while uh, Jared, uh, Jared Gabriel M. Kesha, that our answer is not out of the but what happened? The king or the prince of the Persia or the prince of Shana? Hallelujah. Thank you. The prince of the Persia has captured me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, there are many few descriptions given in the Bible of how angels look, isn't it? Hallelujah. I know. I think. आपने जाने ने कदा बलाम नहीं गधड़ी बदल जाने से कि एंजल क्यों देखा तो ऐसे, isn't it? I think they are mighty and they are majestic in their appearance. They are so majestic that a lot of time people almost बुली जाए कि आ देवदूत छे क्या खाली खाली प्रभु छे. They are that majestic in their appearance and in that stature. Hallelujah. So Gabriel is a good messenger. He is considered an arch angel into the throne of God or into the into the throne room of God. Hallelujah! When he comes to Zechariah, he does not give any other introduction, and he says, "I, Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God." So that is the that is that is Gabriel. Now there is other forces who can bind the Gabriel. I don't think physical force Gabriel na bind kari shakhe. So there is a power of darkness. The fallen angel over the kingdom of Persia, who is binding angel Gabriel, so that he will not bring answer to Daniel's prayer. Okay, are we there? Right. Let me say it again. The moment angel prayed, this angel, moment Daniel prayed, angel says, "Your prayers were heard in heaven." The moment the prayers were heard in heaven, he brought answer because Bible M K K do to su shiye seva karnar atma hoche. Then Gabriel is bringing answer to the. Daniel back hallelujah but while he is coming back he is captured by this another demonic forces which is a king of persia or king of tyre hallelujah praise god thank you jesus when you and i pray hallelujah we are not praying in physical realm but when you and i pray things starts moving in spiritual realm hallelujah the answer when answer comes from the heaven actual angels brings your answer back to you hallelujah praise god Thank you. We're not going to pray to angels, isn't it? That's that's not that's the point. But hallelujah, that is how the spiritual world and spiritual warfare works. Hallelujah. So while they bring, sir, there are demonic forces who tries to bind them. Quickly, I'm going to say this thing because I have many things to cover. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. When Lucifer was in the presence of God, Revelation chapter uh, uh, 12 says, Hallelujah, ke swarg ma ek yudh thayu, ane Mikhail ane na duto, Ajgar ane na duto ni saathe. लड़िया हालेलुया और आज के ने युद्ध यहां थी आकाश में फेंक ही देवा मारो और पृथ्वी पर नाखी देवानो आयो हालेलुया प्रेज गॉड थैंक यू जीसस थैंक यू लॉर्ड हालेलुया सो देयर इज एन देयर इज एन आर्मी ऑफ गॉड एंड देयर इज आल्सो ए आर्मी ऑफ हालेलुया थैंक यू डेमोनिक किंगडम वन मोर वर्स आई वांट टू रीड गिव मी 10 मिनट्स आई विल कंक्लूड दिस सेकंड कोरिंथियन चैप्टर 12 वर्स नंबर 2 सेकंड कोरिंथियन चैप्टर 12 वर्स नंबर 2 क्या आकाश में उपाड़ी देवा आयो जो मारु गणित सारू हो तो तीजु आकाश हो तो बीजु आकाश पण हो आणि पहिलू आकाश पण हो इफ यू रीड जेनेसिस 1 वेरी केयरफुली हालेलुया प्रेज गॉड इन द बिगिनिंग गॉड क्रिएटेड हेवन्स एंड द अर्थ हालेलुया प्रभु आकाशो तथा पृथ्वी बनाव्या हालेलुया प्रेज गॉड थैंक यू जीसस वेयर द थ्रोन ऑफ गॉड इज द थ्रोन ऑफ गॉड इज द हाईएस्ट हेवन व्हिच इज द थर्ड हेवन that is where paul visited hallelujah praise god so if there is a third heaven there is a second heaven and then there is a first heaven hallelujah be with me very carefully it is easier that you can misinterpret this message hallelujah praise god thank you when the demonic forces were cast out from the throne room of god they were cast out from the third heaven they did not have access to the third heaven anymore satan can go there in the presence of god to ask permission to tempt you and me but he does not have any authority into the third heaven 
Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So when Gabriel brings the message from the third heaven down, hallelujah, in second heaven, first heaven, we can see it right now. What we can see. Third heaven, we can see where the throne of God is. In between third heaven and first heaven, there's a second heaven. Hallelujah. So when Gabriel brings the answer back to God, back to Daniel, he's captured by the king of Persia. Where? Not on the earth, but Prabhu Yesu ki to Ephesians chapter 6 ma machu, aapdu vid yudh koni virud chhe, ankani sattav virud, kya? Heavenly places. What happens there, not here? Isn't it? Hallelujah. So he was captured into the second heaven by this demonic being who is over king of Prussia. Amen. Read further. Pajji Sutho. No, no. Daniel. Mm-hmm. Any pella, any pella. Verse number 13. Let's go back to verse number 13. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withholding me for 21 days. How many days? 21. How many days Daniel was praying? 21. The message that oh, that angel is going to deliver is a very important message. And it would have been delivered on the first day. But the demonic forces are withholding that message, withholding that prayer for 21 days. Then my Bible says, behold, Michael, one of the chief prince. Everybody say Michael. Michael. Hallelujah. And who is the chief prince? Gujarat, what is the name of Sardar, hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. He says, came to help me. If Gabriel is a spiritual meaning, spiritual being, the one who comes to help Gabriel is also a spiritual one. Hallelujah. And who is there? Is none other than another archangel, archangel Michael comes. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you see Michael, Michael is mentioned few times in the Bible, at least six to seven times. And whenever Michael is mentioned, Michael is mentioned with warfare. Michael is always mentioned with battle. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So when the prayer is hindered, when the prayer is stopped into the second heaven, Michael has to come, release the Gabriel, so that Gabriel can bring answer back to Daniel. Okay. Be with me as I conclude this. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. When you and I pray, when you and I fast and pray, when you and I, I humble ourselves and pray to God, we move things into the third heavens. We shake things up there in the heavenly places. Hallelujah. Praise God. And God starts sending their answers back. But the moment God starts sending an answer back, the answers is captured in the second heaven by the demonic forces. But when you continue to fast and continue to pray, Daniel, ek divas prathna kare banna thai gyo. Be divas prathna kare banna thai gyo. Ekvis divas suddhiya na prathna na upas kare Equis divas pachi Michael ayo and equis divas pachi Gabriel na chodam ayo. Hallelujah. So when you and I continue to fast and pray particular prayers, we enable God's army to win the spiritual battles into the heavenly places. Hallelujah. You and I can literally shake hands. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Prayer is seeking God. Prayer is Seeing God, prayer is exercising our faith, prayer is humbling before God, prayer is fighting spiritual battle and spiritual warfare. Hallelujah. For we do not wrestle against the flesh and blood. How do we wrestle? We wrestle in prayers. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. When you and I pray, when you and I continue to fast, Hallelujah, praise God. Spiritual warfare is not stuff of fancy comic books. And a long time church has stayed away from this particular topic. They won't talk about it. Hallelujah, praise God. But let me tell you, your victory depends on what happens into the spiritual warfare. Your answer depends on what happens right in first and second heaven. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Your relationship with the people are disturbed because of the demonic being under and over people who ask them or who treats them or inspires them to act or behave in certain particular way and that distorts the relationship. How certain nations behave like that? Because they have demonic authorities over them. City of New York passed a bill. Isn't it? The demon of abortion sitting right there. That they passed a bill that almost a full term baby can be aborted. Isn't it? Do you think those people took that decision? 
definitely these people take a decision, but there is a demon sitting there who is the spirit of Nebuchadnezzar. And he wants to kill all the babies into this world. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Every decision that is taken in the physical world are the result of what happens into the spiritual world. So what I want to teach you right now, hallelujah, praise God. When we fast, when we pray, hallelujah, let us win spiritual battles. Let us win spiritual victories by fasting and praying with power and with authority. Hallelujah. As Daniel prayed, hallelujah, and he received the answer, hallelujah, praise God. I want to encourage you, hallelujah, whenever you prayed into the will of God, into the plan and purpose of God, God hears your prayer immediately. Everybody say immediately. immediately. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, sir. Satan can hinder your prayers and my prayers. But let me tell you, that God is victorious and more powerful than the than, than enemy. Hallelujah. And in his due time, it brings that answer back to, back to you. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is important for us to understand, hallelujah, that the battles that we are fighting is not against flesh and blood, but the battles that we are fighting are into the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. There's a famous guy. Uh, there was an evangelist called Themis Muthi. In 1980, 1980, he went from Scotland to Nairobi. And, and the Spirit of God told him, I said, you have to go and establish a church in Kiambu. A lot of people went to Kiambu and established a church, but nobody could establish a church there. Then God gave him a threefold strategy. God told him, there's a spirit of witchcraft into that city. So what you have to do, you have to bind that spirit of witchcraft in the name of Lord Jesus Christ before you even go there. So this particular evangelist, with his family, with his prayer warriors, start praying and fasting and started binding the spirit of witchcraft which was over that city. Hallelujah. That was phase number one. And they did fast and prayer for X number of months. And God says, now we're going to do the second phase of fasting and prayer. You establish a church not in Kiambu, but on the border of the Kiambu. He said, you establish the church right there. Hallelujah. And you start fast and prayer and continue to do fast and prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When they started fasting and prayer, the spirit of which was, which was on the street starts getting agitated, start getting moving hallelujah, and start getting defeated. The first month, this city, this church on the border of the Kiambu got nine converts. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Third phase, God says, God says, now again, start fasting and pray so that you can establish a church in the heart of Kiambu. Hallelujah. The moment the prayer warriors started fasting and praying, they were attacked by the spirit of witchcraft. They started getting sick. They started getting their work, uh, work uh, missed or they, they started losing their money. All those things starts happening to them. Hallelujah. And then God says uh, this strategy to Pastor Muthi. He says, remember what happened to Jonathan. He said, what happened to Jonathan? He said, when Jonathan went, there were two armor bearers beside him. He said, establish the two armor bearers beside each prayer warrior. Hallelujah. Thank you. So now there's prayer warriors who are fasting and praying. And there are, for each prayer warrior, there were two people continually fasting and praying for only these prayer warriors. And then they started doing that for month after month after month. And ultimately, they could establish a church in Kiambu. And first year, 5% population of the whole city came to Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. If they would have just acted with the book, if church came to establish Karu, they would have been lost and gone out of that city long ago. But they wrestled in fasting and prayer. They wrestled, hallelujah, with the spiritual forces of wickedness. They wrestled, hallelujah, by what God said, the, what needs to be done, hallelujah. Now there was a church established into the height where the witch crowd was thriving and very active. Hallelujah. By the spirit of God, that was defeated. I want to encourage you and me. There are so many prayers are hindered because, hallelujah, there are spiritual forces of wickedness acting against in your life and my life. Let 2019 be a year of fasting and praying with power and authority. Let 2019 be a year not only fasting and praying, hallelujah, as a church, but as an individual, as a family, husband and wife, fast and pray together. Hallelujah. Set aside a day for yourself, fast and pray. Every Wednesday, every Wednesday, when we're going to meet together, I promise we're going to come with fasting and praying every second Wednesday when we pray together. As a church, we should fast and pray. Not only 21 days fast, God is showing many other things we're going to do this year. We're going to fast and pray more than we have ever done before because we want to defeat those armies of wickedness who are hindering our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let 2019 be a year of spiritual victory through fasting and prayer. Let us all bow down our heads in the presence of God.
Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord, we praise you. We worship you. We want to say thank you to you, oh my Lord, for your good God, hallelujah, and your mercy endures forever, Father. Thank you for teaching us once again. Lord, hallelujah, Lord, that you have not left us alone, oh my Lord. You have not just let, uh, help us, ask us to do things on our own, oh Lord, but there are ministering angels stand beside us, behind us, with us, 100% of the time, oh my Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, we heard testimonies, oh my Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, the testimonies of protection and testimony of provision that has come from you and you alone, Father. We want to say thank you for that, oh my Lord. Lord, Lord, teach us in this year, oh my Lord, how to fast with the power and authority, oh my Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Help us to live a life like Daniel lived, oh my Lord. Like Job lived, oh my Lord. Like Abraham lived, oh my Lord. Hallelujah. Let there be no deceit found on us, oh my Lord. So when we pray, let our prayers be heard first day in heavenly courts, oh my Lord. Hallelujah. Help us to understand that every battle that we are battling, we are fighting. We are not fighting against any man. No, we are not fighting against flesh and blood, oh my Lord. But we are fighting our spiritual forces of wickedness, oh my Lord. And help us to fight this battle. Help us to fast and pray. Hallelujah. As your heavenly armies fight this battle for us, Father. Hallelujah. We want to say thank you for that. Lord, I pray in 2019, oh my Lord, you already started answering our prayers right now, my Lord. Hallelujah. We pray, oh my Lord. There are many prayers that we've been doing for many years, oh my Lord. Especially the salvation of our loved ones right now, my Lord. Lord, I pray and Lord, we fast and pray and we stand in the gap, oh my Lord. We strengthen the heavenly armies, oh my Lord. Let the answer which has stuck there, oh my Lord, be given in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, oh my Lord. Let those people come to you, oh my Lord, and receive you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, my prayer, Lord. Lord, whatever spirit is binding them, the spirit of confusion, the spirit of blindness, oh my Lord, be opened up and gone in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, oh my Lord. And let their eyes... Spirit sees, oh my Lord, that you alone are the true and the living God, oh my Lord. You alone can save. You alone can forgive. You alone can grant heaven to anybody in this place of this earth, oh my Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We submit ourselves, oh my Lord. At the same time, oh Lord, not just fasting and praying, but help us to be active members, oh my Lord. Active participant to go into the world and preach your gospel in the power and authority of the Lord, most high God, oh my Lord. Hallelujah. You be with us, oh my Lord. Especially those who have been preached last year, oh my Lord. We pray, we believe, oh my Lord. We ask the souls and spirit of those individuals, oh my Lord. Lord, bring them into your kingdom, oh my Lord. And whatever is binding them, be gone in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Father, is my prayer, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Once again, Lord, we submit ourselves. We surrender ourselves. Hallelujah. Lord, as we, as we go from here, oh my Lord, be with us. Lead us, guide us, protect us, oh my Lord. And Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. No plan of the enemy prosper against us, oh my Lord. But help us to help us to become victorious in and through Lord Jesus Christ is our prayer right now. Lord, we submit, surrender ourselves into your precious hand. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. કૃપા પવિત્ર આત્માની સંગત આપણ સર્વની સાથે હમણાંથી સદા સર્વકાર સુધી હો આમેન